Sometimes on this journey, get lost in my mistakes. What looks to me like we did, she is a canvas for your strength. My story isn't over, my story's just begun. But failure won't define me, cause that's what my father does. Yeah, failure won't define me, cause that's what my father does. Ooh, lay your burdens down. Ooh, here in the Father. Check your shame at the door Cause it ain't welcome anymore Ooh, here in the Father's house Rival's not the end game The journey's where you are You never want it perfect You just want my heart And the story isn't over if the story isn't good, the failure's never find a when the father's in the room. Yeah, failure's never find a when the father's in the room. Ooh, lay your burdens down. Ooh, here in the father's house, check your shame at the door. on the move when the fire's in the room the prison doors flame wide the dead come to life love is on the move when the fire's in the room miracles take place the cynical find fate love is breaking through where Hey LCBC, my name is Dan and I just hope you're having an incredible day today. We just heard from Jordan singing The Father's House, which is just a great song. I love singing that in this season with you at church or sometimes in my car when it's stuck in my head. It's a great song, but it's also filled with joy and encouragement about the truth it takes to, to live and to thrive with the Father in his house. But that song also has me asking where, where is the Father's house? Is it is it in heaven? Where the Father lives, is it, at, is it at the church? Because, man, back in the Old Testament times and even in Jesus' time, he would talk about going to the Father's house, going to the temple. The temple is where they would go because they believed the Spirit of the Lord lived there. So they would go there to spend time with God, to study, meditate, to pray. But guess what? We don't have to do that because Jesus promised us when we, when we trust him, when we follow him with our lives, that he would send the Holy Spirit to live inside of us, inside of me, inside of you, which means that God's house, it's each of us. Uh, and in, in Corinthians, in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16, it says, Do you not know that you, you are the temple of God and that the, the Spirit of God dwells in you? And what that means, guys, is that the Holy Spirit lives inside of us, which means that we are living with God and we are God's house. Now, just like where I'm standing is part of my house where I've been renovating, trying to, to add some space to get rid of the old, to create a space that is healthier and, and, and quite frankly, bigger so that my family can grow and thrive. Guys, we've got to do the same things 
in us, in each of us. We've got to do the maintenance, do the work to get rid of the old things, to get rid of the, the burdens, the shame, the things that don't belong because the Holy Spirit wants to fill us up. But if we're filled with things that don't belong, there's not space for the Holy Spirit to, to live, to grow, to work in us and to, to pour out of us into others. Guys, I hope you're doing that work. I hope you're maintaining the temple of God that, that he has trusted us with so that the Holy Spirit can work in you. Let's pray together today. God, thank you for the promise of Jesus that he, that he sent the, the Holy Spirit to live in us. I pray that the Spirit will, will just grow inside of us so much that we feel him working in us and through us into the lives of others. God, we want to follow you well, so help us to do that each day of our lives. God, we love you and pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen.